With us now is a fantastic entrepreneur. It is Dan Magor from Black Star Bakery. Welcome, how are you today? Good, how are you? Good, I walked out into the green room, I took one look at this display <laughs> and I was like, <gasps> it like oh took my, my breath away. I was like, oh my goodness, the goodness is uh, coming forth right here and now. So you started this bakery six years ago and you have five locations. Yes, yeah, six years ago, um, a little bit after we arrived to New York, um, we opened our first location. Um, it was a little bit of a struggle at the beginning but then, uh, yeah, like the brand was, you know, uh, the name was out there. People start coming and, you know, we did our best working hard, uh, slowly, well, uh, slowly, slowly picking up, but then quickly uh, opened our second, third, fourth and fifth locations. It's fantastic. And, uh, right now, yeah. So, Dan, were you, did you already have a bakery somewhere else? Did you uh, no, grow up around we bakery? actually got into that by just like by mistake. Really? Um, yeah, yeah. Okay. In some way. Um, and then we really like what we're doing. Uh, we like the fact that people enjoying uh, eating and drinking from, from us, from what we do. Uh, it gives you that um, feeling like satisfaction. You know what I mean? Celebrities love your coffee. Like you have a lot of celebrities that go to your location. Some, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, and they're just like raving about it. Do you think that also kind of helped like word of mouth, um, you know, in terms of like somebody liked yes, it, they brought yes, two friends and they brought two friends. Yeah, and, and social media and people are, you know, um, we get a lot of celebrities, yeah. Um, word to, uh, word to mouth, mouth to word. What, yeah, 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 uh, yeah, word of mouth. Word of mouth, That's okay, because yeah. I know sometimes when yeah. English isn't your first language, it's totally <laughs> yeah, exactly. fine, yeah, with the phrases. Um, yeah, word of mouth, yeah. And um, yeah, people talk and, and it's great, yeah. Well, it's good that it's word of mouth here because like it makes your mouth feel really happy inside, right? What are some of the things that you brought here today? So these are some of the uh, specialties this pastry, it's called pastel de nata. It's a Portuguese egg and custard pastry. Um, this one is cake citron. It's a lemon cake made with uh, real lemon juice and lemon zest. Um, Canale, French pastry. Mm. Custard, rum, and, um, and uh, caramelized on the top. Uh, babka, the Jewish-Israeli uh, kosher chocolate babka. We got some raspberry croissants right here. Uh, these are filled with raspberry. We bake them in-house. Uh, we bake most of our products in-house every morning in all of the locations. And these are the mini donut balls. They come in uh, vanilla caramel, strawberry, and chocolate with, uh, with nuts. So these are some of, some of the highlights, some of the different things, unique, not the usual. Correct, not the usual. Yeah. You have about 30, is it 37 different Around items? Around 35 to 40 different items. The Wonderful. menu is changing. Okay. Uh, but yeah, around that. And Dan, what are some of your favorites? Um, your personal Eventually, favorite. when I go in the morning to the bakery, I just grab a chocolate croissant because that's like the, <laughs> that's your the go -to. classic. Yeah. That's your go-to, uh, okay. Wow, I can't really point at anything that's the main thing because everything is really good. I'm also a savory person, so... I like the savory stuff. Okay. Um, and I see your tattoo. So did you name your bakery after your star tattoo, which uh, came it's, first? It's not the name, but it's, oh. yeah, it's the logo. Yes. And that means, like, I feel like the king of the black star, you know what I mean? It yes. means a lot for me, the brand and everything. So that's this tattoo. Yeah. I love that. I just put it on lately, like a year ago. Oh, ago. congratulations. Thank you. So what advice would you offer to other entrepreneurs that want to start their own business? What was the one thing that you feel like you did correctly that made all the difference um, for you? In general, stick to the target, have goals, and make sure you follow them. Don't, uh, don't lay back. Always push forward. And, you know, on, on difficult times, you just have to, like, you know, get a grip of yourself and say, I'm moving on. Nothing's going to stop me. In the food industry, I think there is a lot, you know, there is a lot um, around it. You have to, you have to get a, a good presentation, a good customer service, uh, inviting, uh, an inviting atmosphere. You know what I mean? Uh, there is a few different factors that in food specifically are very, very important. 
also having somebody that um, is your partner that supports you. So as we were setting this up, your very special yeah, wife, I, right? I wouldn't get there. Like, yeah, I wouldn't without get there you. without her. Um, her, the presentation, the design, uh, pushing me f towards the second location. That was, that was my wife. Like uh, I was a little bit laid back, worried. Uh, she was always the one pushing me. Let's do this. Let's get that. And definitely the brain behind I love the whole that. brand. Yeah. And we wanted to celebrate her, but she prefers uh, to be behind <laughs> the scenes, just like a lot of my camera yeah. crew. It's, it's okay. not me. It's all these wonderful people that you see yeah, working yeah, behind yeah. the scenes here that make the show. So, yeah. Dan, thank you so much. I can't wait to break bread with you uh, here in my studio. And then I'm coming to all New right. York to see you, right? Any of <laughs> the welcome. locations. You're welcome. Thank, thank you, you for so having me. Oh, you're welcome. Thank it you so much. Stay tuned for more. We've been living it up right here with Dan. Check out his wonderful bakery.